I'll let you in on a little secret, Nathan, about how one should pray the Friday evening receiving Shabbos prayer, said Reb Nachman. It's a juicy bit of praying like storing on the grass. Nobody's chasing you. Nobody hurries you. You walk towards your creator with gifts in pure empty hands. The words you say are golden, their meaning transparent. It's as though you're saying them for the first time. Praying and receiving Shabbos prayer is quite a little business. Nathan, if you should feel a little elevated, uplifted, you're not praying and receiving Shabbos prayer enough. The tune is sheer simplicity. You're just lending a hand to the sinking week. It's a heavy responsibility, I know. You take a created week and you slip it into the archive of life where all our lived out weeks are lying together. The week departs with a quiet kiss. It lies open at your feet, Nathan while you stand saying the blessings. You can't create anything yourself, but you can lead the week to its end and see clearly the smile of its going down. See how whole it all is, not diminish for a second, how you age with the weeks that keep dawning, how you bring your lived out week as a gift, Nathan, to eternity. <laughs> Shalom Aleichem, Evenu Shalom Aleichem, Evenu Shalom 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 Bless us with Shabbat joy. May God bless us with Shabbat holiness. May God bless us with Shabbat peace. <clears throat>
as you make ready to greet the Sabbath Queen with L'chad Dodi, following the custom of the medieval mystics of Sfat, when we reach that last verse, the Bo'i Vishalom, we turn to face the rear door of the sanctuary to greet the radiance of the Sabbath Queen. But before turning back to face the front, take a brief moment in your seats to acknowledge the presence of God on the people's faces all around you. Give a quick hug or a kiss hello, a handshake. Let them know you're glad they're here. Lecha Dodi.
unending is your love for your people, the house of Israel. Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts have you taught us. Therefore, O God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and rejoice in your Torah and mitzvot forever. All this we hold to be true and sure. You alone are our God, there is none else, and we are Israel, your people. You do wonders without number, marvels that pass our understanding. You did wonders for us in the land of Egypt, miracles and marvels in the land of Pharaoh. When your children witnessed your power, they extolled you and gave you thanks. Willingly they enthroned you, and full of joy, Moses, Miriam, and all Israel sang this song.
grant that we may lie down in peace, eternal God, and raise us up, O Sovereign, to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Guide us with your good counsel, and for your name's sake, be our help. We praise you, Eternal One, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people, Israel, and over Jerusalem. Rise for the tefillah. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufiyagi tilatecha. Eternal God, open my lips, that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melohe avotenu v'imotenu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rika. Elohe Lea, Elohe Rachel, Ha'el Hagado, Hagibor, Hanora, Eloyon, Gomer Hasadim Tovim, Kone Hako, Zoher Haste Avot, the Imahot, who may be Gula, Ligne, the Nehem, the Mahan Shemo, the Hava, Mela Hoser, Moshe, the Magin, Marucha Tadonai, Magin Abraham, the Esra
Hakadosh, Veshim Hakadosh, Ukrosim for Yom, you are the Lucha Sela Baruch Adonai. You set the seventh day apart for your service. It is the goal of creation more blessed than other days, more sacred than other times, as we sing the story of creation. <laughs>
As Torah is the source of our spirit, we pray to it become the source of our strength. We rise together as one congregation, joining hands as a circle of hope, joining hearts as we pray for those who face the future and not fully whole. May the one who blessed our mothers and fathers before us bring blessing to all those who struggle against sickness all those who so long to be healed. Let us pause to pray for them now. Strength. 
When was the last time you were actually present? This is not a trick question. Actually, it's a trick answer. Most of us, I would guess, if we fall into the category of, I think, what most people do during their week, during their day, have not yet mastered the art of being where we are. We have a wonderful way to fine tune the craft. In fact, you're in it. Mordechai Kaplan advised, an artist cannot be continually wielding his brush, but must stop painting at times to freshen his view of the object, the meaning of which he wishes to express on canvas. Living is also an art. Shabbat represents those moments when we pause in our brushwork to renew our vision. Imagine, it's 5.30 p.m. Friday afternoon and everything stops. Not the trains or the buses or the planes, but the stuff in your life stopping you from stopping. Imagine, it's 5.31 p.m. Friday afternoon all the clutter on your desk is no longer there. The piles of laundry in the basement do not exist. Unreturned phone calls will wait. Financial futures and past due payments are not a concern. There is no later. I I'll get to that in a minute. No, I meant to do that an hour ago. There is only here and now. Our teacher, Larry Kushner, calls this the day-long spiritual fiction suspending time. I call it the spirit recycling chamber. And for a people so caught up in making a living, motivated to do it all and be the best, Shabbat becomes the test. One day a week, or a devoted part of it, when we stop planning and projecting, creating and conniving, reviewing and rearranging, one day we give up on worrying about the past or living in the future and allow ourselves simply to stop just to be. Because stopping leads to being, which can lead to blessing if we master the art. To set the tone and the challenge, listen to Marge Piercy's poem the motivation to make meaning, one you do not have, the art of blessing the day. This is the blessing for rain after drought. Come down, wash the air so it shimmers, a perfumed shawl of lavender chiffon. Let the parched leaves suckle and swell. Enter my skin, wash me for the little chrysalis of sleep rocked in your plashing. In the morning, the world is peeled to shining. This is the blessing for sun after long rain. Now everything shakes itself free and rises. The trees are bright as pushcart ices. Every last lily opens its satin thighs. The bees dance and roll in pollen, and the cardinal at the top of the pine sings at full throttle fountaining. This is the blessing for a ripe peach. This is luck made round. Frost can nip the blossom, kill the bee. It can drop a hard green useless nut. Brown fungus, the burrowing worm that coils in rot, can blemish it and wind crush it on the ground. Yet this peach fills my mouth with juicy sun. This is the blessing for the first garden tomato those green boxes of tasteless acid the store sells in January, those red things with the savor of wet chalk, they mock your fragrant name. How fat and sweet you are weighing down my palm, warm as the flank of a cow in the sun. You are the savor of summer in a thin red skin. This is the blessing for a political victory. Although I shall not forget that things work in increments, and epicycles, and sometimes leaps that half the time fall back down, let's not relinquish dancing while the music fits our hips and bounces our heels. 
We must never forget, pleasure is as real as pain. The blessing for the return of a favorite cat, the blessing for love return, for friends return, for money received unexpected, the blessing for the rising of the bread, the sun, the oppressed. I am not sentimental about old men mumbling the Hebrew by rote with no more feeling than one says Gesundheit. But the discipline of blessings is to taste each moment, the bitter, the sour, the sweet and the salty, and be glad for what does not hurt. The art is in compressing attention to each little and big blossom of the tree of life, to let the tongue sing each fruit, its savor, its aroma, and its use. Attention is love, what we must give children, mothers, fathers, pets, our friends, the news, the woes of others. What we want to change, we curse, and then pick up a tool. Bless whatever you can with eyes and hands and tongue. If you can't bless it, get ready to make it new. This is the art of mastering the art, the art of blessing the day. Take four to five minutes simply to be present. How? To step back from the life you're working six days plus and to stop and consider the canvas you've been painting. The discipline of blessings is to taste each moment the bitter, the sour, the sweet, and the salty, and be glad. Bless whatever you can with eyes and hands and tongue, and if you can't bless it, get ready to make it anew.
We get a glimpse of redemption every week. But to catch it, we have to stop and see that life is a work of art in process and that our palettes are filled with an awesome, varied, and colorful array of blessings. Some call it the seventh day. I call it Shabbos, when we don't have to go anywhere or do anything, for everything is done and we are already here. So whether it's by sharing a Shabbos meal or making it to temple Friday night or Saturday morning, taking the time to study Torah at Hevra, or making time for a walk or talk with your kids or life partner or maybe a parent, meditating alone or reflecting on life with a loved one, taking time out to cherish the time. Don't miss the chance to make a masterpiece. God's finished creating. The canvas is fresh and clean, and the brush is in your hand. Shalom, shalom Rise for Alain. Alain, le chauve, a clodon, a co, la tête que du lard, le sèvre, chit, chelo, a salu, que doye, a razot, veo, sa manu, que mis pechota, a doa, chelo, sa mocha, que nu kahem, vigo, alain, u, que fa. May the time not be distant, O God, when your name shall be worshipped in all the earth, when unbelief shall disappear and error be no more. Fervently we pray that the day may come when all shall turn to you in love, when corruption and evil shall give way to integrity and goodness, when superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye, when all who dwell on earth shall know that you alone are God. O may all created in your image become one in spirit and one in friendship, forever united in your service. Then shall your rule be established on earth, and the word of your prophet fulfilled, the eternal God will reign forever and ever. thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humankind. As we remember them, let us rise and meditate on the meaning of love and loss, life and death. Biomad ivra kirute viam lich makute, Bachayachon uvimechon of Fayedeko bet Israel, Baagala uvisman karibim ru amen, Yehe shame raba mivrach leola molome omaya, Yet barach lish to bach vit pa ar vit romam vit nase, and vit a dar vit a lel vit a lal shamer good shabre fu, Le elam in koberhata vishrata, Tushbehata venechemata, 
Damiran be a mavim ru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shlamaya. Vachayim alenu be a ko Yisrael vim ru amen. O se shalom bim romav. Hui a se shalom alenu be a ko Yisrael vim ru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn. And comfort to all who are bereaved among us and wheresoever they may be. Amen. 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 Let's raise a glass together in Kiddush. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Borei peri ha'gafen. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Asher kirshanu b'mitzvata v'ratzavanu. Shabbat Kacho, Beahava Ratzon, in Hilanu, Zikaron, Le Masse Vereshi, Ki Huyam Tehila, Le Mikai Kodesh, Zeheritiat, Mitraim. Grab a hand or a shoulder for our closing blessing as we share with one another. I need a shoulder or a hand or something. You better come over here quick. God bless you and keep you. God deal kindly with you and be gracious unto you. Be 
God's radiant presence shine upon you from within you and grant you peace. Amen. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.